So I don't really want to say that I called it, but I really called it, man. I mean, last week I made a video talking about what global players can expect as the first banner in 2021. And in that video, I was like, it's gotta be Angel Golden Frieza. I mean, there were a few other options out there like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Tech LR Jiren, so on and so forth. But in my mind, those were just minor possibilities and they were super, super unlikely. So I was like, it's gotta be him. He's coming next. And lo and behold, last night, we got a preview for the next Dokkan Festival unit on Global. And as you can see, it is in fact the Angel Golden Frieza, or at least, you know, the Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza. So there you go, guys. He's coming. He's next. He is going to be this year's New Year's banner for Global. Now, in terms of when we can expect to see him, when he's going to drop, uh, I don't have an exact date for you, but I did look back to this year's New Year's banner, the Fizz Piccolo, and Piccolo dropped on January 6th. So that could also be when we see Frieza this year on January 6th of 2021, or it could be a couple days earlier, it could be a couple days after, but what I would say is that we can definitely expect to see him the first week of January. Okay, so sometime in the first week of the year, we'll get this Frieza, and honestly, I am super, super excited for him. This guy is absolutely amazing. And if his banner stays relatively similar to the one from JP, then it's also going to be an extremely good banner. Now, I know a lot of people were hoping or expecting to see Tech LR Jiren at this time. And that would have been nice as well. But it just wouldn't have made a lot of sense because if you look back to you know, the history of releases in this game, the history of banners in this game, they don't usually like to do back-to-back -back legendary summon banners like that. In fact, I can't remember the last time we got two legendary summon banners with new LRs on them, back-to-back -back like that. Obviously, we've had, you know, two LRs on the same banner, like those top legendary summon banners, and we've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back -to -back legendary summon banners with old LRs, but yeah, in terms of new legendary summon banners back to back, I don't remember the last time that happened. I'm sure it's happened at some point, but it's very uncommon if it has, right? So that's why I was saying, like, even though Jiren probably should have been the Christmas banner on Global this year, and since he was pushed because of the simultaneous Gohan on both sides, it would have kind of made sense if they gave us Jiren now, but I think a Dokkan Fest with Golden Frieza made a lot more sense because, like I said, they don't like to do the back-to-back -back Legendary Summon banners. And in terms of Jiren's release, it's probably still soon. I would say Jiren is coming after the Angel Golden Frieza, so probably like sometime in the third to fourth week of January, we'll probably get Jiren. Okay, that's of course just speculation. It could be something else, but I think there's a good chance that happens. Anyways. Uh, with that said, why don't we pop over to the Dokkan Wiki now and actually check out the details for this uh, Frieza for anybody that doesn't know what he does. And like I said, he is really, really good. Easily one of the top, you know, five TURs in the game, maybe even higher than that. So starting with his leader skill, it's Resurrected Warriors or Otherworld Warriors, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100 and 50%. Now one thing you might notice immediately is that he doesn't lead a new category. And usually with, you know, new Dokkan Fest units, they get a new category. But this time it's just Resurrected Warriors and Other World Warriors, two existing categories in the game. But I don't really mind it because I think that they've been just making too many categories recently and a lot of the new categories just don't make a lot of sense or they're just like super random. So if they want to give better leader skills to some of the older categories in the game, like Resurrected Warriors, obviously, doesn't have a key plus 4. HP, attack, and defense plus 150% leader. So if they want to do that, you know, for the next couple of releases, then that would be totally fine with me. I mean, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that. Do you want every Dokkan Fest unit to have a new category, or would you prefer something like this, where they just give a better category uh, lead to some of the older categories? Anyways, that's the leader skill. Uh, super attack is death, psychokinesis, raises defense, causes immense damage, and seals super attack. So of course, this can be stacked infinitely, 
for as long as the event goes on, and it's 30% for 99 turns. And the passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack and medium chance of evading enemies' attack including super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. And this is a 25% chance to evade attacks. And finally, attack enemies' attack and defense minus 30% for 2 turns. And his active skill, of course, is a transformation into Angel Golden Frieza, and it can be activated upon entering the attacking turn. So essentially, you can actually transform into Angel Golden Frieza the first time this Frieza pops onto the rotation. You don't have to wait any number of turns. You don't have to be below a certain uh, you know, number of HP or level of HP. You don't have to have a certain kind of enemy or a certain ally on the team. Literally, the only restriction is that he has to appear on the rotation, and he can use that active skill and transform into the Angel Golden Frieza. Now before we get there, let's uh, just finish up his details. His links are Prodigies, Strongest Client in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Resurrected Warriors, Universe Survival Saga, Representatives of Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Full Power, Wicked Bloodline, and Other World Warriors. So that is the final form Frieza for you. Really good. I mean, a great defensive unit. Obviously, stacking defense is clutch, and also debuffing the enemy, and also a medium chance to uh, evade enemy attacks. So um, he is, I mean, offensively and defensively, actually pretty solid. I mean, his damage is not bad as Final Form Frieza, but once you transform into Golden Frieza, that's when things get you know, pretty crazy, right? His super attack massively raises attack for one turn, and that is a 100% increase to his super attack multiplier and causes immense damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% and great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. So. Yeah, um, Angel Golden Frieza is absolutely busted. He is quite insane. And what I love about this unit is mainly that you can really, you know, you can have freedom to like use either form depending on what adventure you're running, what you need him to do, so on and so forth. Like for example, if you're running a longer event like the LGE or Infinite Dragon Ball History or anything like that in the future, then keeping him in this form is probably smarter because he does raise defense infinitely on a super, right? So he can stack defense for a long time and become super, super tanky and also keep that medium chance to evade enemy attacks. But if you're running a shorter event where, you know, there's only a couple of phases and you just want to, you know, clear it as quickly as possible, then you can pop that active skill immediately, become Angel Golden Frieza and uh, just tear through everything. So, and of course, like he's not bad defensively as Angel Golden Frieza either, especially when you're below 49% HP, that's 50% damage reduction on top, on top of all this attack and defense, right? So he's going to be very tanky still as Angel Golden Frieza. It's just you have the potential to be even more tanky as uh, Final Form Frieza. And I just love that, man, because like one complaint I've had about units in the past is like, you know, they're either good for long events or short events. Obviously, that's not every unit in the game, but a lot of units seem to be either tailored for like longer events or tailored for shorter events or medium length events. Whereas this guy is just super versatile, man. He is good for all kinds of events. So yeah, I'm super excited for this unit. He's awesome. And uh, I just, I can't wait for him. Oh, one thing I want to mention is the calculation. Once again, his additional attack and defense plus 80% is calculated separately, resulting in a total boost of attack and defense plus 296% when performing a super attack. And for the final form Frieza, I believe it's the same deal. So uh, yeah, the additional attack and defense plus 50% is calculated separately, resulting in a total boost of attack and defense plus 200% after being attacked. So there you go. That is the upcoming transforming Frieza. Like I said, man, one of the best TURs in the game easily. Now, before we go, I do want to quickly show you guys two Dokken Awakenings. That are also coming with the Frieza, the one for uh, AGL Angel Cell and also the Tech Angel Frieza. Both these guys have needed awakenings 
for a long time. They're finally getting them, so let's check them out. Okay, so for Cell, his leader skill is going to be AGL type skill plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. Super attack raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage, and his passive is going to be attack plus 20%, defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained. All allies key plus 2 with 2 or more rainbow key spheres obtained, and attacks effective against all types when all allies are in the other world warriors category. Links, big bad bosses, ultimate life form, fear and faith, shock and speed, nightmare, other world warriors, and fierce battle. And categories are androids, transformation boost, time travelers, artificial life forms, kamehameha, and other world warriors. So that's the cell. And for Frieza, leader skill, tech types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 90%, super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 100%. When performing a super attack, changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres, reduces damage received by 40% when all allies are in the other world warriors category. And his links are prodigies, strongest client in space, universe's most malevolent, shocking speed, nightmare, other world warriors, and fierce battle. And categories are transformation boost, wicked bloodline, and other world warriors. So there you go, guys. Two awakenings and the transforming Frieza. And that's it. That is gonna be the next Dokkan Fest on Global. That is gonna be the New Year's banner on Global. Expect more details, uh, probably in game within the next couple of days. We'll pre we will probably be getting a data download within like one or two days as well. So lots of content to cover. I'll of course be keeping you guys posted whenever all that stuff drops. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments guys, how do you feel about this Frieza? Are you excited for him? Would you have preferred something else? Like, are you upset that we're not getting Jiren instead? Like I said, Jiren will probably still drop very soon, like end of this month, so, or you know, next month when it turns over to January. So uh, we don't have to wait too long and then Gogeta probably right after that. So lots of big things coming for Global in the near future. Hope you guys are excited. And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like, the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.